this is a grand unified theory. You see, we are, we are physical matter and we are unmanifest spirit. We are both of these things. I am a soul, but I am also this atom at the end of this fingertip. I need to embody this whole body. I, I need to be aware of everything. This is me. The soul is out here as well. It's everywhere. So once we've got this picture, we've got to work out what we can do to build it. So I've already said that you build the muscles by the training, but the most important training to do, and what, this is what this whole body efficiency is, is alignment. Alignment. And we can all do this. Alignment doesn't require fitness, doesn't require strength, it doesn't require prowess. Alignment means I'm just sitting here and I'm sitting here like this, my spine is crunched. Alignment means I just have to work to, you might have heard some of those clicks, but I'm trying to generate clicks all the way up the spine. You see, I want control in each joint, each vertebrae, click, 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 click. And the last one, clunk, into the head, means I've moved the bone marrow all the way up to the brain, I've refreshed the brain. And this is alignment. Each one of these vertebrae have got to be stretched into the right place. If I can achieve alignment of the bone structure, here's the bones. Alignment of the bone structure, what happens is alignment allows, well, two things happen here. Alignment allows the energy to flow more efficiently. But alignment, what, what happens in alignment? Alignment is I am uh, using my structure to resonate to resonate. You see, I've got to talk more about this, but I talked about the, the, the water molecule is an angle like this, the water molecule, but there's also an antenna, an aerial. If you look at the top of the roofs, the TV aerial, you've got this angle. And it's because this angle, this, this shape, resonates with a particular radio wave. This distance has to be a proportion, this angle has to be the right proportion, and then this wave will be picked up by that aerial. In other words, the, the geometry of this shape is important to pick up this energy. So when I hold my body in the correct geometry, I'm able to pick up more energy. So alignment allows you to put yourself in the right geometry. You're putting yourself in the right shape. And the human body is naturally designed in the right shape. So I talk all about the neutral stance. I've got to try and find the neutral mid position of the spine. This is the natural position that your body should be in. And just by, of course, coincidence, well it's not coincidence, it's to do with the mathematics of phi, but the, your body is just the right shape to receive the energy, receive energy coming to you. So w when we can find the right alignment, it will improve our ability to collect energy and it will improve our ability to flow energy through the body. And of course, not only energy, the correct alignment also allows the blood to flow better. Because if I collapse the spine, all these things are crushed down and blood vessels are squashed. The lymphatic nodes don't move. So if I stretch it up open, I've opened the blood vessels, blood can flow better. So I don't work on fitness. I don't even work on strength. I don't work on mobility. I don't work on endurance. I, don't, I do, but I don't. I'm working on alignment. And when I do all those things, I do them with alignment. So I only work my strength. See, so if I'm doing weightlifting, this might be all I use, this little weight. That's, that's fine. What I've got to do is work the correct alignment, get this exact control of my elbow tendon. Once I've got the feeling of that, well, now I can increase the weight. But I don't lose it. You see, if I go suddenly too heavy, now, oh, now what happens is your brain kicks in, you're struggling against pain, and you forget the alignment, and you start going back to the muscles, and then they burn out, oh, okay. At that point, you've got to go backwards. It's not about burning out. It's about feeling the alignment and the continuous flow. This is how we do bodybuilding. And then once you've got to a certain level, you're moving the bones. So now you're doing deeper internal bodybuilding, and you're moving the bone marrow, and you're regenerating new blood and bringing that out. So this is the physical training we have to do, and you will develop a good body doing this. Alignment we can all do, and we can always improve upon it. You see, we've got to realize it's minute. See, I can have this, it's quite good. It's a bit better. It's a bit better. A bit better. Now I'm, I'm at the level of millimeters, millimeters of improvement. But I can only find that improvement deep inside. 
I have to find the awareness. Oh, that's a bit better. Stretch it open a bit more. See, I'm always working to improve and improve and improve my alignment. Uh, and that's the key. This is efficiency. We can always increase efficiency, always increase efficiency. So no matter what the capabilities of your body, you can always improve the alignment. I'm stuck in a wheelchair. I think I can't do anything. Well, I can. I can still improve my alignment of my spine. If I've got a deformed spine, I can't do anything. Well, I still can. I can still try to move and stretch open that deformed spine. And with some help, I can try and pull it. I can still move towards a better one. It's one millimeter is, is worth it. That work to get one millimeter closer is hard work, but that is worth it. And it's a lot easier work than what we do in the gym, jumping, running, and you're burning yourself out, bouncing your joints, you're injuring yourself with a lot of that training. So this is the bodybuilding. We're training our alignment, training the tendons, training the bones, and ultimately training the fluids, moving the fluids through our body. And this will regenerate us.